President Trump's first 100 days in office are coming to a close, and longtime journalist and current senior fellow at Brookings, Marvin Kalb, believes that they have been noted for confusion. If you put it on a chart, I think you would find that the learning curve has been very dramatically on the upside. Kalb, who moderated Meet the Press during the Reagan years, believes that Trump's lack of experience in public office makes those comparisons unjustified. Any number of Republicans can choose to link their fortune to that of Reagan. That's a good thing in the Republican Party. But with Trump, it is unjustifiable. And I think that Trump will, with each week and month that passes by, he's going to run up against the reality of governing. In governing, you can only measure success on the basis of what you have achieved for the American people. And that can only be done if you reach accommodation rather than seek through confrontation to achieve your ends. On Russia and Korea, Cal believes the Trump administration is doing a lot of talking, but there is not a policy emerging from this. His book, Imperial Gamble, Putin, Ukraine, and the New Cold War, examines the Russia-U.S. relationship. The subtitle of that book, The Rise of a New Cold War, is a question mark, really. But I think that it's no longer a question mark. I think that the relationship between the U.S. and Russia has reached a new low. The world will be watching as President Trump continues to deal with the Russia and North Korea issues, among others, throughout the remainder of his first year in office. For BU News Service, I'm Nick Neville.